Folks, I gotta tell you something. Listen, I, I know it's fun to like things, okay? It it's exciting to be excited for things. And people will tell you on apps like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, check out this new movie. It's amazing. It's scary. It's a new horror for you horror fans. This one's called Apartment 7A, a prequel to Rosemary's Baby. And you look at that and you're like, oh, I should watch that with my husband or with my wife or whoever, and we can have a great time. I'm so pumped up for this film. These people are full of crap. All right, that's the bottom line. There's, there's no way I refuse to believe that people on these platforms are sincerely talking up films like Apartment 7A for any other reason outside of like me, follow me, love me, or pay me. And I tell it to you straight here. And the truth of the matter is, Apartment 7A is Apartment 7 ass. Before I jump into this, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so these show up in the future, it's free of charge, doesn't cost you a dime. And that way you get to see more of me, isn't that, is that, is that fun? fun? If you're a big fan of the classic Rosemary's Baby from 1968, you might have been sitting around waiting for 50 plus years going, when are they going to do it? When are they going to tell the tale of that young dancing girl from Ozarks? Your wish has been granted! Hang on. Hello? Adam speak- Oh, it's Apartment 7A. They've answered the call. They made a crappy prequel that has nothing to do with Rosemary's Baby and everything to do with wasting your precious time on Earth. I sat and I watched this fucking miserable movie with my wife today, thinking, what, what, what am I doing? What? I often have an existential crisis when I watch crappy films because life is fleeting. I could be hit by a car, a tornado could rip me out of my house. A lot of things, a, a gator could blow through the window right now. I fight that one away, but then a sparrow for some reason comes through the window and just starts pecking the shit out of my neck. By the way, what I just did is far more exciting than anything that happens in this film. If you're looking for a horror movie, a thriller, a scare, look somewhere else. There's none to be found here. Now what we have here is Terry Gardner showing off her dancing skills. She's a dancing queen. Young and sweet, only 17. She's a lot older than 17, but somehow she looks younger in this than she did in Ozarks. It's perplexing. I, had, I Googled it. I'm like, when did this movie get made? Have they been sitting on apartment 7A for like 20 years? I couldn't find anything that said otherwise. The premise is simple. During one of her many shows, Terry breaks a leg quite literally fracturing her ankle, forcing her out of the game. But all she wants to do is dance, like a college girl at a bar on a Friday night. Let her have this opportunity. She never wanted to dance with me, I can tell you that. <laughs> Good thing I have a YouTube channel. I, I showed her. I showed all of them. After about 45 minutes of watching her go to auditions, fail, go to more auditions, have a couple dream sequences where she's dancing, I kept thinking, wow, this film has about as much in common with Rosemary's Baby as The Joker 2 has in common with The Joker, meaning nothing. It takes a painstaking long time for anything to happen in this film. After many months of not getting work or being able to pay her bills, an old couple comes along and says, hey, we got a spare bedroom you can live in. Why don't you come with us? They befriend her, they take her under their wing, and they give her free room and board. Diane Weiss, who I haven't seen in a while, she's one of those actresses though, where you look at her and you go, God, I've seen her in like 50 things, but I can't remember a single one of them. It's one of those movies where you IMDB later or you pause the film and you look her up and you go, oh, she was in that, oh, she's in Independence Day? Oh, she's in this, that's fun. Anyway, she's really over the top here, laying on a thick accent. We got a place you can stay in over here. <laughs> I can't even do it. It's so, it's so ridiculous. And yet it's kind of fun. It's, it's really the only fun thing in the movie. If you've seen the recent Immaculate or the recent Omen, you've seen this film. But those are much better. And if you thought those movies were mid or worse, whoo, definitely don't give this a shot. And if you thought those movies were amazing, Definitely don't give this a shot because Apartment 7 ass is not worth anyone's time. And yeah, I might be laying it on a bit thick, but I really can't think of a single redeeming quality in this entire film. The scares aren't scary. There's a point where we see the demon early on and it's bedazzled. 
It's just a black blob of crap with jewels all over. There's a jazz hand sequence where guys are dancing around and she's in a bed and the sheets get pulled off her. Like, I've seen this crap so many times, done so much better. I think the most disgusting, most egregious thing in all of this is I signed up for Paramount Plus, the seven day free trial, just to watch this shit. And you know I'm not canceling that free trial. Amazon knows I'm not canceling that free trial. So I have Paramount Plus now. Oh, let me add that to the chest of garbage. Disney Plus, Apple Plus, Amazon Prime, Max, formerly known as HBO Max, Peacock, in case I want to check anything out on the cock, I have it. This is miserable where we're at. And each one of these stupid streaming apps have their own exclusive videos. Oh, Max has Salem's Lot. Can I watch that pile of crap? Already did. Yippee. Oh, what's Peacock have to offer? Nothing. Disney Plus gave us Hocus Pocus 2 and Disenchanted. I hate myself. And I hate these streaming apps. They don't care about making quality movies. So I'm not going to give them any benefit. I'm giving them nothing to go on. If a movie sucks, it sucks. They didn't put any effort into this. I don't think the writer and director of this movie gave a shit about Rosemary's Baby. She wanted to tell a story about a young dancer. And then, yeah, the demon stuff will throw that in later. That'll come in like the hour mark. Cinematography is, uh, it's okay. It's digital, of course. There's a slow motion scene where she breaks her ankle and it's ugly, digital, shot in slow motion. Looks, looks like shit. Uh, the music, I, I don't know. There was the, the theme song from Rosemary's Baby probably came out at some point. I think I probably fell asleep for 20 minutes of this film. When I woke up, nothing was still happening. I just, um... <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's bad. They're all bad. They're all bad. I watched The Wild Robot a couple days ago. Went with my family. Beautiful film. Amazing front to back. Put a review out. No views. Nothing. No views. People don't care. Uh, they want to hear about garbage movies. They want to hear about the stuff streaming because everybody has streaming services like Netflix. So, oh, th this movie's trending, Adam. Watch this movie. Tell me about this movie, Adam. I don't need to watch the movie. I already know what the movie is. It's bad. They don't care, folks. They're just churning out content. And even the ones that aren't bad are just fine. They're just watchable. They're like Axel F. They're just there. And then people are like, oh, XLF wasn't total dog shit. What a treat. I think this is my villain arc. <laughs> Let's stop. All right, those are my thoughts on Apartment 7A. What a blessing. What an experience. Has no reason to exist outside of propping itself up based off of the name of the original. Maybe move some bodies to the stupid Paramount Plus. It got me. So it won. It got me, so it won. And I would love to have you. If you could just subscribe. Again, there's no free seven day trial. It's free all the time. You just hit the button and you're in. Notification bell. Like the video, share the video. That, that goes a long way. Nobody really shares anymore, but you could share the video. Say, hey, Adam's a fun, honest critic. Maybe check him out. And if you really appreciate what I'm doing, you're looking for a way to support this one man band, join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I'm giving some really cool offers that a lot of other channels don't. For instance, if you're at the $5 tier, you get an exclusive video every month called The Cringe. It was an old show I had. It's very satirical and funny. It takes a bunch of work to make, but I really enjoy doing it. You get that every month, you stay on. If you're at the $10, you get an exclusive movie review. And if you're at the $20 a month, you get an exclusive vlog. So you get the cringe vlog and the movie review every month, plus access to 300 and counting exclusive videos. It's a great value. Plus again, you're just helping support the channel and I would appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you next time when I review the prequel to Apartment 7A, which is a prequel to Rosemary's Baby. Now that hasn't happened yet, but anything's possible at this point. Take care.